rural areas throughout Zambia and other parts of Africa, children are required to walk great distances to school. It is not uncommon for students to walk two hours to and from school each day, and for student-to-teacher ratios to be excessively high. 14 Plus Foundation is a New York City-based 501c3 nonprofit. Our mission is to develop, build, and operate schools and orphanages for children in Africa. The current literacy rate beyond the age of 14 is staggeringly low. 14 Plus represents our commitment to improve this statistic through our projects and programs. In 2012, we started our first project the Chipakata Children's Academy in Zambia, Africa. It started with big ideas about education, looking into what the standards were in Zambia. And we thought, well, how do you take that and bring together ideas of education, curriculum, and community with a kind of rural environment? The site is very remote. There are no schools anywhere nearby. There's no infrastructure. In truth, it became a great opportunity to look at the traditional cultures of Zambian building and materials that were available to then make it into something that was of its place and the spirit of this local community, but also something that added a new dimension to what teaching and learning could be in this area. The biggest challenge that we've experienced thus far is really the logistics of construction. Being on a village where there's no plumbing, there's no infrastructure, there's, so there's no power, there's no electricity, there's no running water that we can work with. And so we've had to embrace those challenges and understand that the construction needs to be adaptable to those conditions. And I think we've been able to achieve quite a lot. When we visited Chupacaba village, we held interviews with the women and we asked them if they could have anything, what would they want. And one of the things that they wanted was to have somewhere where they could get the basic, basic things that they don't have to travel far for. And so that's how we came up with the idea to open a little shop. Before I started the work, I can say that I was somebody who was looked to be a useless person. But just after being employed here, I'm a woman who is called a respected one. And these other men, they are afraid of me. They always say, we can't manage to approach that woman because she's able to do anything on her own. Before this shop was opened, it was hard for them to find goods. And they're working from here to where the shop was located, it was 10 kilometers. They were able to carry, let me say, 50 kg on their heads from much later to here. We collected as a group alone for about 690 kwacha. After giving us that money, we settled down as a group and discussed the things that we would like to buy and sell. And after doing those activities, we managed to find the money for us to pay back the loan. We have to work as a group. After working as a group, then you have to work hard to work individually. After introducing to the 14 class and after giving us a loan, we are meeting every week. As we meet, we are discussing different ideas. Each and every person was given a chance to talk what she thinks that she can bring development in their home and their communities.
Women, they look after everybody in the house. In Zambia, we believe that when you've empowered a woman, you've empowered the whole home. If women come forward and see that education is the answer to most of their problems, they'll have a better life. My wish is that 14 Plus can think of expanding, build more schools so that the rural people can have a hope. At our pre-registration day, close to 200 children arrived requesting to be enrolled in the upcoming year. From the beginning, sustainability has been a key focus for us. Without sustainability, the success of the project is just not possible. This is not the construction of a school. This is a community development project. We are traveling across the world, working with people who live in drastically different circumstances than we are used to. Yet there are many universal elements we all share. Regardless of who we are, where we come from, or where we live, education shouldn't have to be a privilege. It's a basic human right. <laughs>